Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome to more Let's Play Mother 3. If you recall our last part, we were about to head up to the 100th floor, and you will also recall that Kumatora is feeling feverish, meaning she will be getting a new PSI power soon, and she just did. PK Thunder Gamma. Very cool. There's an elevator that goes up, let's ride it. Now, before I fight the end boss, I'm going to level up until I get PK Ground, because PK Ground is just obscenely powerful and makes the game so incredibly cheap. And quite frankly, I don't want to struggle with the boss battle, I kind of want to get it done easily. They claim the next stop is the 100th floor. Is this really the 100th floor? That seems odd to me. If it is, then, you know, 100th floor is full of hippopotamuses and grass, which is, you know... Th this is one part of the game that is left over from the N64 beta. Actually, a surprisingly large amount of the game is left over from that. Well, these are hippopot these are hippopotamus launchers. So we would do well to avoid fighting them. Unless we can get back attacks. But, you know, they are not to be confused with um rhinoceros rockets. I'm going to start a battle with one because worst case scenario, I'm like 2 minutes in and I can just, you know, leave. Plus, there's an instant revitalizing device right there. So this is a really good place to grind. In fact, grinding is definitely worthwhile here. And since I'm so close to the place where I can grind, let's just ponzor his. Let's just ponzor him. Shall we? Yeah, he missed, and now he's gonna get pwned, George. Like I said. And I'll get plenty of experience for that, so I might cut these battles. Or I might not. I'll decide later. But yeah. They don't take long to kill. I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and kill these two, since they're right here. It, it just makes sense. And Kumator is dead. But, so is the Rhinoceros rocket. Er, Hippo Launcher, sorry. And that made Lucas level up, and Duster. You can see why I thought this was such a good idea. Three of my four party members gained a level for that, and then I can just walk ten feet and heal. Yay for grinding in easy parts of the game. There was no reason not to do that. In fact, yeah, I would highly recommend grinding here if you are underleveled. These hippos will not attack you unless you approach them. So keep that in mind. I just got a super bomb. That's a pretty decent item. So I definitely won't complain there. Some kind of scientist wants to research. Sure, how would you improve your hippo launchers? Well, okay, you're obviously weird. I don't want to talk to you. I don't associate with weird people. That's not true. I, I am weird. And Lucas is feeling feverish, which is something that's clear to see, but I have to point it out because that's how Let's Plays work. It appears that you guys appear to be suspicious guys. I'll, I'll, I'll beat you up good. I'm real scared of your hippo launcher. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get pwned, okay? Just saying. Love Omega, 
and Starstorm will do him in rightly. And he's dead. And Kumatora will probably level up, which she did. Very cool. Yeah, that took five seconds. And he done ran away. And called us stupid heads. Oh, I'm so hurt. You, you'd never believe how offended I am. You called me a stupid head. Ultimate shoes. That is a good equip for Duster. So we should give them to Duster. There's no reason for anyone else to have them. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to fight all of these hippo launchers, because I can level up so easily from that, alright? So I'll see you right back here when I'm done grinding. Well, okay, I did some grinding, and while I was gone, um, Lucas learned Counter Omega, and what do you know, Kumatora just now started to feel feet rich. Well, cool. I'm going to progress the story now by walking through this door. And in here we have more hippopotamus launchers. And I can't run, that's right. The toils of having a feverish party member. Well, um, dude, on-screen NPC, that's your opinion and you're welcome to have it, but I think you're slightly odd. Cause that's bestiality! Anyway, they're actually chimeras, so it also involves robots. Freeze Omega. What a great move. Love me some Freeze Omega. I really should grind here, but I'm not going to. I mean, these enemies are easy, and there's a means to do it right here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and open that present and get some good stuff. And... We get greeted by a very immature person named Porky. So we get to get on the next elevator. And we don't really even know what floor we're on. We just know that it's somewhere higher than 24 and lower than 100. So let's go on to the next floor. And see where we end up. I'd guess we were probably somewhere around 50 or so there, since, I mean, the last one went up 24 floors, and it claims next stop to be 100. Which is very possible. This looks like it might be Porky's throne room. In fact, it is definitely Porky's throne room, but no sign of Porky. Sure, we can get some oxygen from the oxygen machine. I don't know why we need to. But hey, why the hell not, right? It's here. Ah, uh, old time's sake. What do you guys have to say? This is a gathering room for Master Porky's fans. No, I can't say that. Quit lurking, but isn't this 4chan? Oh, never mind. The detestable Lucas and his pals appear to be lost in Master Porky's fan room. Hee 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 hee. Lucas and friends, come to the real 100th floor immediately, if you dare. You dare bring light into my lair? You must die! Well, that was a quick floor. With nothing to be gained. So up we go, yet again. Probably, I, I don't really have any idea where these floors are, but yes, as you can imagine, we are approaching the end of the game quickly. Next stop, 100th floor. We'll see about that. Instant revitalizing device, that means this is also a good place for grinding. And just in case I do decide to grind, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. But now, I'm only going to save in one slot. Just in case I decide I need to go back. And we're 15 hours into the game already. Okay. Well, damn. I didn't know there would be a battle. But it's okay, we can beat him quickly. Even Boney does 115 damage. So, and there's an instant vitalizing device, like, right there. So who cares, right? Huh, a present. 
Got an attack aerator. More bathrooms, but you know, as long as I'm injured, I'm gonna go ahead and revitalize myself again. Gosh, I've made so much progress this video. With so little actual fighting. I'm fully revitalized. Good, 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 good. So we go in here. And it's a secret to everybody. Nothing here. Oh, crap. Okay, um, I'm fighting a sign. How much damage can you do? None? Okay. There we go. He's very damaged. And he's level 48. And another present. Honey shower. I don't know what these items do. Let's find out. The attack attractor causes an enemy to stink, thereby making it the target of everyone's attacks. Covers an enemy in honey, causing a swarm of bees to attack. That's an interesting item. Alright, if we go through here, we move on to the next set of bathrooms. With, um, a Japanese-style toilet. A duck type. For big people, and probably the door, right? Yep. Um? <laughs> well, he makes a very good point. Ghosts? They're friendly ghosts who used to live the easy life, but some pig masks crammed them all in there. Aww. Sorry to hear about your struggles. And hopefully he just grins again on his second turn. Or he could use Star Storm, that's cool too. And give everybody moral damage. That that's you know, that's that's cool too. I'm sure there will be another instant revitalizing device, and quite frankly I don't want to go back. So I think this calls for Life Up Omega. There. Go in here and we get to fight this guy. Ha <laughs> No. Yeah, um, this is a little ridiculous. Not doing this fight. I'm going to run away. Grab this present. And then quickly leave. Bony gets a red collar, which is good. Give that to Bony. And there we go. That's the way out. Um, and yeah, there appears to be a fish there, and there's obviously something crazy going on there. And, well, that was very interesting. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to end the video, because I'm already getting close to the time limit. So, in the next part, we're going to continue farther on our way to the 100th floor. And, yeah, I will see you guys then. So, until then, I'm Homestar92, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.